into it again. Yeah, this is uh, we're in Detroit, Michigan. This is uh, the premier con for fighting game and Smash tournaments. These, this is great because I've been, you know, I'm I'm a pretty anime guy. I've been to a lot of anime tournaments, or I'm sorry, anime a anime conventions. And the, the they while there are tournaments, they're never at this this level of uh, production quality that Yumicon provides. So shout out to Yumicon. Shout out to we. There's six stages going on. Six stages for tournaments. That's ridiculous. That's six more than usual <laughs> at an anime convention. So seriously, we have uh, two Smash stages, right? Yeah. So yeah. Melee and Smash 4. Uh, I've seen the anime stage. The Capcom Fighters stage, right? Yeah. And, and I think we have one for uh, League or StarCraft, and then one, one for something else. But right now we're getting to Kip Dog versus CT Chibo. <laughs> and here we go. So it's going to be actually pretty tough, though. You know, Pikachu. In his defense, he has been winning. Um, he's won just about every match he's played on stream except for that one winner's record match. So, which match was that again? Uh, it was the one versus the Sheik player. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice interception by Chibo using the gyro to stop the quick attack in its tracks. Yeah, Chibo uh, looking. Looking to be very aggressive against the Pikachu, actually. Pikachu's probably not one of those characters that you can, you can camp out. There's the down smash. Man, I really see no other route player use down smash as much. Except or if ever. Except Chibo. Except Chibs. He's the man. Somewhere. I think we're required to say that a certain amount of times. What? Yeah, Chibo's he's the man? He's the man. Yeah, that's Have I said that before? No. Okay, I was about to say that. Well, I, was, I was reminding you, it's in the contract. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I checked, it's verbal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, uh, just a random smash right there. Maybe up beyond the. Waiting for Pikachu's up beyond the stage. Oh, that would have been a really sick setup right there by Chibo, and he has the gyro off stage yet again. Really good stuff by Kip Dog, too. Getting on stage as quick as possible to avoid that setup. The, uh, I guess we'll just call it the 8 bit man setup. The 8 bit man, yeah, I like that. He started it, right? Uh, I, I was, he was yeah. the first person I see to do it, so I'm yeah. going to say yeah. And by now, you guys should all know who 8 man is. If not, watch Versus Stream, jeez. Yeah, PSGC on Twitch.tv. Next one. And Peace. make a song out of it so next time. Um, we'll make a contract. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this match is looking very even so far. Um, Pikachu definitely close to the kill percent than Rob is, you know, being a much heavier character. Oh, what a commitment there! Yeah, no punish on him either. Yeah. Oh, a drop shield on the down smash. What an unfortunate way to go out. I was gonna say, Brawl prevailed yet again right there. But Chibo gets caught rolling towards the ledge and gets hit by the up smash. Okay. So, uh, Kip Dog doing a great job of keeping himself in there. Cute little ledge cancel by Kip Dog right there. Much harder to do after the patch. Ooh! Possible for his input. <laughs> Or maybe he meant to do Skull Dash, who knows. Yeah, so he's, Chibo definitely using his up smash to probably try and read uh, a quick attack back on the stage. Chibo not getting any opportunities to keep tossing out projectiles. I see Kip Dog is just rushing him down, but that grab! Woo, doesn't go good. for the up air, instead <laughs> opts to grab the gyro. I feel like after a down throw, or yeah, after a down throw, you should always either go for the up air or go for the uh, air dodging up air. The reward is just so great, and there's really no risk to it, honestly. He didn't want the up smash there. He wanted to build more damage. <laughs> Can I make it stylish? I like, that's what I like about Shiro. It's in the contract. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I see. I thought he had the read on that roll towards the stage, but uh, no punch there. I was thinking that backer would have connected. It does have a hitbox in front. Up by Chibo DI on the last hit. And Kip Dog having a hard time getting in there. He's definitely getting hit by a lot of these projectiles. Wow, wait a second. And he roll, does it. Roll down smash. I like roll that. down smash. That, no, that's, that's definitely the brawl. Classic brawl. But it worked out for him, so. So shout out to Chibo for taking the first game. Kip Dog, yeah. <laughs> It seemed like his biggest problem was getting past Gyro and Laser, but once he got in there, he was in there. 
but Chibo did not let him stay in there very long. Alrighty. My boy Debo, he's taking 20 minutes to add one to the score. <laughs> D1 doesn't work with Max. Yeah, just, uh, just keep commentating, my friend. Alright. <laughs> Oh, loud. Check out that rush down right there by Chibo. This is, uh, this is Kip Dog's counter the battlefield. I really feel like sometimes Chibo like, uh, does a really good job of just mixing up his style of play. Like, he's gonna be aggressive, and in the moment he like fades back, he just goes back into the zoning style. Yeah, that's good, man. It can be really hard to read your opponent when they're switching up their styles like that. So. <laughs> it's true. It's a really good balance. Kip Dog right now, I like to see opening up with these. Uh, Thunder jolts, but Chibo fitting back with that fair was actually really impressive. I'm trying to tell Kip Dog to stay out of his air space, but Kip Dog <laughs> coming back in. <laughs> so aggressive, I like it. That's what I like to see. It seems like he's being more aggressive in this match than he was being in the first match. Oh, indeed. Nice run up shield. They're very patient, but not able to punish that ball in there. That entire sequence was so smart by Chibo using the neutral air to uh, cross over Kip Dog and then get to the other side. A little, a little antsy with that run up of smash though. And Chibo definitely spends a lot of time off stage though, using his gas. Uh, we haven't, you haven't seen him, you know, die in gas very often, but still gotta be careful with it, especially against Pikachu, you know, who has no problem going off stage against him. Uh oh, I think Chibo might be running out of gas very soon. Oh, is he out? He's yes, out of there. It, as I say it, man, see what I'm talking about? It's wow. good. It's good to. to uh, to counterattack off stage, but man, a character like Pikachu, you, if you get hit once, your immediate goal should be to get back to stage. Yeah. Quick attack does go pretty far, but you do only have one jump. One double jump, that is. Yeah. I think he's holding onto the arrow a little bit too long, so it, it, it's disappearing before he gets to the stage fight. Smart by Kip Dog, goes on the other side, resets the strategy. Oh, that was, again, very, very risky. By Chibo. Yeah, but if he timed that a bit better, he definitely would have been able to nail it. He probably gets those usually more co more consistently than not, which is why you saw him off for it. Yeah, I think Rob also has uh, much better kill options than. Uh, I mean, kill, uh, up smash is great. Don't get yeah. me wrong, but okay. uh, when you don't want to commit to something, like just just down throw, go for a down throw instead. Oh, grab. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. True. I like that. Look like right there, Chibo tried to land and throw, but Pikachu's throw was just much faster than his. <laughs> Kip, Kip, uh, Kip Dog is doing much, much better in this match than the first match. I don't know if it was the counter pick or the way he's adjusted his play, but it's definitely working out for him. Counter pick definitely looks like it's aiding him. Um, hanging out on the platforms and just firing away with the uh, jolts freely has been get getting him some mileage. Oh, that was a really questionable DI by Kip Dog right there. It looked like he went straight up, and that is not where you're supposed to go. <laughs> Up to him. And here's another thing I wanted to touch on, right? Uh -huh. um, on this stage, if you stay on the platform, you don't have to worry as much about the gyro or the lasers, you know, uh, at least straightforward lasers, right? Chiba would have to aim it upward. Yeah. So that allows Kip Dog to basically, you know, force Chibo to play his game. Fortunately for Kip Dog there, he was at a low percent, so no <laughs> crazy stage spike from a laser. <laughs> yeah, that could have been really unfortunate. Uh, Chibo doing a good job of trying to bring this back. Down throw up air will still work with this amount of rage, so he's gonna get damage from that. Yeah, and it looks like Chibo can't even like ride up the walls because the Thunder Jolts, if Kip Dog does it properly, it'll make it hard for Chibo to recover near the wall. Yeah, that's why stages with walls, uh, like Duck Hunt, for example, are actually really bad in this matchup for Rob because when he's trying to ride the wall like that, Thunder Jolt will just <laughs> climb down after him. Exactly. Whew. Kip Dog right now doing a good job of keeping Chibo in the air, but Chibo actually could still. He could still make it happen. Yeah, she was bringing this back very yeah. quickly, and you can tell Kip Dog is uh, getting a little frustrated. It's gonna be really, really hard, man. You know, when you just can't seem to land that kill attack, but you know your opponent's at kill percent. Jaro's coming down. Oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> just in case you cut it. <laughs> yeah, that never goes away, man. <laughs> Oh, that was perfect gyro placement right there by Chibo. And I like how he tosses it down and it tries to cross up oh, his no. opponent I was just air. about to say, I really hope Chibo does not commit to something uh, yeah. at this percent, man. Because he's done a great job bringing it back, but committing to something can really be the way he loses that match. And as I say that, that is how he loses the match. <clears throat>
All right, let's see. <laughs> so it's 1-1 right here in the set. And now Kipbao thinking, what is he going to ban against Rob? I, would I mean, the obvious, the obvious ban would probably be Town City, but I guess it really depends on how he feels. So after this match, are we, uh, is it Rick for us? I believe so, good sir. Okay. It's been a great run. Dreamland 64, I'm very much okay with this. Uh, this is a great Pikachu stage. Uh, I think it, it's a good stage for Rob too, but uh, if he has his ledge cancels down, then his, his movement is going to be really, really crisp. True, since he can't really jump cancel the quick attack like a brawl. Yeah. For whatever reason, he was able to do that. Got him. The Sakurai got him. <laughs> Sakurai got him. <laughs> great safe pressure right there by Kip Dog. Oh, and the Gyro. Gyro. Came down and the MVP Gyro right there. To the rescue. See, Chibos just fading back with the neutral airs, trying to keep Kip Dog away from applying pressure with those bears. Nice quick combo right there. Again, um, Kip Dog, I seem like he, he's taken the most of my damage from his projectiles in general. But once he makes his way past the projectiles, he, he, he's in there and you know he does his damage. Hopefully, he can stay in there if he wants to win this match. I'll let you have attack off the stage. Yep, yeah, just of course, Chibo off the, to the edge, but Chibo managing to come back and he's putting himself in a position to try to see if he can get that there. Keeps missing. Nice pivot grab, though. I like that, I like that space forward smash. A lot of people get uh, caught off guard by how, how far the horizontal hitbox for forward smash is. <laughs> very, very interesting yeah. uh, <laughs> choice of time to use that laser. <laughs> Point blank range! <laughs> That's such a ball question. Oh, Chibo tried to see if he could sneak in a down, down smash. Oh, right so before Kip Dog had the air dodge read right there, but no punish. You know one thing I realized about Kip Dog was that I rarely see any up throw to like thunder setups. I have not seen him do it yet. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna be. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe he knows uh, Rob. doesn't. You know, Rob's such a heavy character, or maybe he just thinks Chibo knows the DI. <laughs> it's, it's really easy to DI, but. Uh. Oh, there it is. Catches the roll on stage. That that setup catches so many different options. Nice quick 26 by Chibo, and he has the ground control. That could have been potentially a dare there. That move is definitely easy to scout out. Right okay, now. So, uh huh. He need, this is what I'm talking about. He needs to get back to stage as soon as possible. There he is. Makes it back. Did he have no invincibility there? I didn't see him flash. Uh, Pikachu even? Yeah, that was crazy. I'm not really sure. What I am sure about though is that Kip Talk needs to close out the stock if he wants to win this because uh, Chibo's just racking up damage right now. There it is. Oh, oh nice and the job. spike, but this is Rob. Oh, oh, no, we don't take those. I see you, Kip Dog. All right. Making things happen there. Back here on stage. That's good. He, he goes his 47% is not too bad for Pikachu. Yeah. Definitely is satisfying to see him out for the Thunder now. Definitely a great option whenever you can't really go up there and reach your opponent with the up air, you know. He's zoning again, but Chibo has the angle right now on the laser. And he has to jump and commit to tossing the, uh, the gyro, which actually could allow Kidon to just immediately drop to the platform and go underneath. Yeah. So. Oh, using, wow, using Thunder Jolt to help him approach. Uh, it seems like, yeah, he's trying to use Thunder Jolt a little bit more so he can rack up damage uh, safely, at least get him to like a relatively uh, respectable percent. Yeah. I think he's realized that every time he goes in, um, I, like best case scenario, he trades, and that the trades right now are not going to help him out. Nice the air right there by Chibo. Trying to see if he can get back on stage. I like the down tilt to re grab, and he oh, waits smart. a little bit too long. Yeah. He had the right idea. The execution wasn't quite there. Get up the roll on that gyro. And again, Kip Dog in a very precarious position. 89%. And Chibo uh, very much with the stage control. Glider Talk is not in play. I think Chibo right there was trying to read something, maybe a roll towards the middle of the stage. 
<laughs> I like I'll that. smash down smash. He first went though for the 8 bit man, and then after that, he went for the brawl. Yeah. <laughs> and Kid Dog already at 1 at 29%. So I think a down throw up air right now will close it out. I'm pretty sure it'll still work in his percent because Rob does not have that much rage. Keep away too closer. Oh, yeah, we see Keep Dog. Keep Dog trying to, trying to play Keep Away and, and do damage without actually approaching, but. Falling there is going to close it out against Kip Dog. Shout out to Chibo taking it 2 1. Playing a very, very strong Rob. And, um. Yeah, that.